So there's been a lot of stuff revealed at HRX already, and I'm sure there's tons more Season 7 news on the way, but for now I just want to give my initial impressions and quick thoughts on the new Joust map. If you do want me to cover other Season 7 news, then do let me know down below. Now I'm by no means a Joust main, but I do play it sometimes along with some Duel, and back in the day with the pre-Season 3 Joust map, I used to play it almost as much as I played Conquest, and I play a lot of Conquest. So I'm actually really excited about this new map in terms of how it's going to play, who will be strongest on it, and what new features it has. So here it is. This is the current plan for the Season 7 Joust map. The first thing I think when I see this is that it's sort of a hybrid of the current Chinese Season 3 Joust map and the old pre-Season 3 Joust map. That description alone will be enough to get me going, but we do of course have this map design and some other small images and tidbits of design that I'll be putting up on the screen throughout the video. So this map is obviously a lot bigger than the current Joust map. It's only slightly longer, so the lane itself won't be that different, but the jungle areas around the lane and also the shape of the lane have changed quite a bit since Season 3. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the new map versus the current Chinese map, and I've also thrown in classic Joust as well. So we can immediately see this map is incorporating elements from previous maps. The Bull Demon King and the routing behind and around Phoenixes from the Chinese map were, in my opinion, the two best things that it brought to the table, and we can clearly see those things present in the new map as well. Both of these features were key to combating Phoenix campers that can extend game time over half an hour by just sitting under a Phoenix, so I'm really glad to see those return. But we also see elements of classic Joust here too. The return of speed buffs to the map and the in general larger jungle are very reminiscent of classic Joust. But the way the jungle is laid out here is much more like current Joust or even current Conquest, with more winding pathways and line of sight blockers to make it feel more closed in, promoting more warding and stealth gameplay, plus spots to do things like Thoral from without being heard or seen. I think Assassins could actually perform quite well on this new map, which can't be said for the Chinese Joust map at the current moment. Gone is the open circular design of old Joust in favour of this larger, but also smaller approach. The jungle itself is larger, but I think when we finally get our hands on this map it won't feel larger because of the way it's designed, as I mentioned before with a closed in feeling and short lines of sight. There's also going to be a lot more farm available on the map than we have right now. Of course I mentioned the addition of speed buffs, but there's also an extra back camp on each side of the map near red buff. Not sure if they're going to be adjusting the passive gold gain on Joust to keep it similar to what we have now in terms of item gain, or if they're just going to see how it goes with more gold being available to players. I think at some point that will need to be addressed once the map is properly playtested. There's also a direct path leading to the Boldy King XP camp as well, so this will probably result in more fighting over that camp as it's much easier to get to now. Speaking of fighting for camps, red buff fights will likely be less common now I think. Given that there's only two entrances instead of three and they're biased to each side, enemies basically have only one safe route to contest red buff so if you can block that off you basically have it locked down. Unless they want to risk everything and attempt to flank you through your own red buff entrance, which is incredibly risky. Whereas currently there is a biased entrance each and a neutral middle entrance that can be used, allowing for more ways to get in and contest the red buff. I feel like the team that gets there first and or has the pressure will almost always get red buff now unless a crazy steal happens, which honestly I think is a negative change that will lead to snowball. I'd like to see them reintroduce that third jungle entrance to red buff. But anyway, that's my quick first impressions on the season 7 joust map. Of course, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below on this, I'll be reading every single comment on this one to really get a feel for how people like or dislike this new map design, but that's it from me. Have a great day, and peace out you nerds.